Alright, assuming you all clicked on this video, not because of its thumbnail, but because you're interested in the topic that I'll be talking about today, I think it's safe to assume we all know what Scratch is, so I'm not gonna spend 30 hours explaining that. Now oh, screw it, I'm gonna do it anyway. Scratch has always been a programming language known for its simplicity. Released May of 2007, Scratch was truly a breath of fresh air for programming, not just for people interested in becoming programmers, but even for people who have shown no interest in coding beforehand. Utilizing a drag and drop interface, Scratch was always an easier alternative and better choice for newcomers only recently becoming interested in coding. And sure, we may have had GameMaker before this, which was also a visual programming type language. Let's be 100% honest here. We all had no idea what the hell we were even doing for like the first 5 to 7 hours of using it. And then there's also Click Team Fusion, but really? $100 for an engine that can't even do real 3D? Not to mention, you have to pay another $200 just so you can make the Click Team logo invisible in your game. And don't even get me started on the free version. 4 frames? Really? If we're all being brutally honest, the only reason everyone uses it is because of Five Nights at Freddy's. And yeah, I like FNAF, but even not so long ago, a developer by the name of Fiznam showed us that Game Maker was better for making FNAF fan games anyway. And Game Maker is free, so who, I ask you, who would even consider buying Click Team Fusion? Alright, back to the main topic of this video. So yeah, we can sum it all up, right? Scratch is great, I use it, you use it, pretty much everyone under the age of 16 uses it, so Scratch is perfect, right? Yeah, um, unfortunately, it's not that simple. Now, I know what you're thinking, but Enter and Shave, you just praise Scratch for being perfect. Which I didn't, what the hell is wrong with you, are you deaf? But there are a lot of issues that I've become aware of in the past few months, and what I'm going to be talking about today is advertising. For those of you who have been living under a rock, advertising is when you copy a link to your project and paste it into the comment section of someone else's project. Ideally a featured one, possibly gaining attention. Here are a few examples. Now that you've seen some examples, you might be thinking, oh, innocent enough, right? They just want to be noticed. Well, it turns out that the Scratch community disagrees, as there have been complaints after complaints about the fact that the only comments famous Scratchers have been receiving have been spam slash follow for follow slash advertising slash links. With that being said, you may be asking, what does the Scratch team do to face these problems? Banning. Yep, bans. Lots and lots of bans. Believe it or not, however, that part of this whole situation isn't even what I consider the real problem. Believe it or not, the real problem stems from the scratchers who get millions and millions of views on their project. And I must say, I have never seen anybody this blind to what others feel in a long time. Before we continue, what are my thoughts and feelings on advertising? I personally think it's okay, but also not okay. What I consider not okay is when someone with enough support, enough views, and a lot of followers does this. Because it just goes to show how greedy they are. On the other hand, I think I can relate to the scratchers with no views. Why? Well, allow me to explain. As you can see, the scratchers with no views aren't greedy by doing this. They're just looking for motivation most of the time. I myself was also this type of scratcher. I tried to gain attention by putting my links into other projects, and I stopped. Because not a single damn person would leave me alone. It was always, don't advertise here, don't advertise there, and to this day my account goes relatively unnoticed. And even my most popular project only gained over 200 views because it's based off a character that everyone knows and loves. Making something new and original is pretty much a complete joke. Which, if I'm being honest, is also kind of the reason I made this channel. To gain more support on Scratch, but even people like Rocket or Griff Patch, they're blessed with the power of having a successful YouTube channel. It's never a given. I even doubt this video will pass 100 views or even get a single like, so to whoever is watching this, go check out my account if you want to because I think you'll find some cool stuff there. It encourages me to make more stuff because I know people enjoy my work. Now, by this point, it might sound like that I'm just desperate for attention, but that's not true. I'm just trying to make a point here that Scratch is broken. And that people that go unnoticed, go unnoticed for a long time until they finally decide to do something about it. Which is kind of my case over here. 
So let's get to the real meat of the video, and that is, how do famous scratchers handle this situation? By not giving a f about how others feel about the situation. My best example of this is Rocket Stop Advertising, which I'll play for you guys right now. It's a massive collab where all the scratchers in it complain about the advertising and how it's annoying them or whatever. Kind of like when your grandma complains about the fact that you're playing Doom and that it's too violent and such. Anyway, here's the project. We're here to address an issue. Many scratchers have been posting links everywhere. Some call it advertising, some call it feedback. But really, it's all the same thing. It's spam. Over 50% of comments on our profiles are either links or follow for follow. And we're here to stop it. Advertising doesn't get you loves. It's really just annoying and makes people not want to be your project. Spam like this has taken over the website. As the great Wazo TV once said, It's time to stop! It's time to stop, okay? And there's only one person who can stop it. You. Scratch really isn't about the views. It's about fun and creativity. Don't spam links. Asking for feedback with links is the exact same thing. Advertising isn't the way. Scratch is made for you to use your imagination. Sometimes you put a lot of effort into something and it doesn't get popular. But that happens. So stop advertising and, and keep, keep scratching. Advertising is bad. They go on to talk about how Scratch isn't about the views, and that was really the last straw for about 50% of the people in the comment section. About 50% of the comments was people saying, Oh yeah, totally, advertising be bad. And others making valid points as to why these Scratchers are wrong. Another good example is Jaden Animation's Stop Advertising, and even she herself was unable to answer a viewer when they asked how were they supposed to get popular without advertising. And let's be really honest, they say views don't mean nothing, but we all know that if they were all to lose their followers or stop getting views, they wouldn't just ignore it. And don't even get me started on getting curated or putting projects into studios. I'm telling you, I've tried, but never came out victorious. I ask if I can add stuff into studios, no reply. I ask if I can be a curator, no reply. And boy, do I hate the people that mass report on a project that isn't even theirs. They think they're doing everyone a favor, but in reality, you're gonna piss off a lot of people off like that. I mean, don't report if it's not even your project. It's just really childish. Now, I guess by now you think that I'm completely fine with advertising. And, well, that's not true. Like I said before, I have no problem with people with basically no following doing this, but if it's someone with enough motivation to keep up their work, that is where the problem arises. And if I'm being honest, despite what I said, I don't hate anyone who worked on these projects. I actually really like Rocket and the projects he makes, it's just these people really need to open their eyes to what's actually happening around them, and what controversy this large and ambitious but at the same time not very positive collab caused. Like I said, I like Rocket and his work. I mean, Sonic Frenzy 2, while very simple, is really fun, and I suggest you guys go play it, as it's a great example of just how impressive games made of Scratch can be. I just don't agree with everything that comes out of his mouth, that's all. I hope that the next video I make on this channel will be about something positive for a change, and I look forward to seeing you there. Bye.